Minecraft villages can be a little bit boring looking, but Kyle from Kylecraft and I are going to transform this village into two different styles. Don't you go anywhere if you want to see what we're going to do. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abamats, in my collaboration series with Kylecraft, where we are transforming this village that I'm in the middle of in two different styles. Kyle is transforming it into an amazing modern style, and I am having a crack at doing it kind of medieval rustic. And today, it's the turn of that church in the background that looks like it's got a a little parasol as a result of that mushroom but it doesn't look the mushrooms on the mountain so this is what we're going to do today we are nearly done we've got very little left so we've got this church today and probably one more episode afterwards and that will be our transformation complete looking forward to this church it's going to be tricky if we have a look look at the actual church here look it's just cobble with a bit of glass there's literally nothing else with this church whatsoever it is frankly quite dull isn't it so we're going to sort that out right now we really do not have much space to work with this is a five by nine nine by five depending on which way around that's nine by five that's five by nine depends on which way around you look at it but it is a tiny little footprint and as a result it's going to be hard this is going to be really tricky i have put this off carl and i have both put this one off till towards the end because we're struggling with ideas as to how we're going to do this it's going to be it's going to be fun, but it's going to be tricky. And like always, I'm going to freestyle it. Just quickly, when I was over looking at the church, I realised I'd missed two small houses out of the village from uh, a couple of weeks ago that were down a pathway down past the church. So I've now put those in. Whoops, apologies for that, the villagers that will live in here. You almost were two houses down. Anyway, we are going to crack straight on with doing this house. And we're going to, first off, we're going to basically build up the skeleton of the house using um, cobble it's not a house it is of course a church i don't know where i'm going to put the doors i don't know where i'm going to put the steeple i literally don't know and as a result we're kind of going to make it up but what i thought might be fun is rather than putting the steeple right at the very front we put it kind of not in the middle exactly but just kind of back in a little bit kind of around about there so there's a kind of an inset on the steeple. I don't want to have it in the middle because that wouldn't work, but an inset on the steeple might just work. Before we do that, of course, we've got to build it up. Now, I know this is cobble, this is just the skeleton. Remember, I'm not doing this as, you know, as it's going to be all cobble to be true to the original. We are going to jazz it. It's it would just be awful if it was just cobble. That ain't going to happen. Um so I don't how high do we want to go? So I reckon we're going to have a little bit there that's like that if we come in one two three there that's where the steeple is but what I'd quite like is a second bit that is slightly higher than the first bit so in my head this makes sense whether or not it makes sense outside of my head is of course another matter so if I just pop out there like that and they're like it's kind of what I'm thinking so and then the staple would continue up I'm deliberately leaving the corners out because it's going to give some depth and I'll do something with that in a minute but that's sort of the shape I think we're going to go for I'm, I'm, I'm pausing really because I'm not entirely certain that it's quite right yet but you know what I'm going to go for it let's pop that there like that I'm not using oak beams on this as, as kind of the standards in the corners I just don't think it would be quite right to do that so I am however going to use the same traditional roof at least on these parts and that's going to come upside down to make again just a normal gable it's five so it gives me the the, the final point bit that I quite like because it's an odd number that works rather well and then if I put 
that like that so that gives that but what I also want to do right hang on I'm thinking out loud if I do that and that round there and then the same there and there and then upside down there but finish it there because what I also want to do is if I put that there there and there put a second gable on that bit this might not work it might not work but it might work so how far did I go with that one two that might work so we that gives us a double height roof on this side which will just make for a little bit more interest I think put that like that like that and then that goes there and that goes there so you can kind of see what I'm trying to achieve there with the underhang of that roof that I'm gonna to have to do something with because that's not quite right but I don't want to go straight across because I want to do something with this wall um, that might be all right so let's just build the steeple up to the just assess what height we want to go up with the steeple I don't want to go too high but neither do I want to leave it too low I want to put a roof on it obviously maybe a, a spire style roof so if I how does that look so far it needs to be slightly higher before I start the roof so let's go one more block there like that I'm also going to put the roof on this side because it's throwing my eye off a little bit and I need to need to get that bit right so let's put the gable on this and here shoving our block and our overhang that can then come up with that and that okay so it's starting to take shape Start, it still looks very bland but it's starting to take shape I'm happy so I've completed in the roofs I've just filled in the gaps there and they kind of wrap around and then there's a gap here because I'm going to do something with this and then it completes on this side as well so now what I need to do is I want to just at the moment I don't know exactly how it's going to roll so I'm going to intersperse fairly standard with a load of different types of stone like I normally do up and around the entire build and I'm going to use I'm possibly going to bring in a couple of other types of stone in as well because there's quite a lot of wall that we need to cover here and I don't want it to be too cobbly although it will be based in cobble so I'll be back when I finish that so I finished off all of the walls and you'll notice that I've put this carved stone on all of the corners kind of to replace the wood here I don't want to put any wood on the outside it just I need this to contrast and this is a very stony looking build we are going to do some detail on the outside to stop it looking quite so boxy definitely because that just looks like a block of various stone at the moment that's not going to work for me but we are gonna we, we aren't sorry going to be using the wood on the same way as we are in the homes but what I want to do now is I want to try and get the roof on this or the steeple on this church I, I do like to do roofs first it kind of allows me to visualize what is necessary on the rest of the build so hopefully it will give me an idea what I need to do and where I need to do it so I'm just going to trim off the top half of that so as it doesn't block off the work I've done on the steeple and then now because steeples are relatively speaking quite steep I can't use slabs or anything like that so let's use stairs there and then I'm going to bring stairs in to start the taper otherwise it will just be too up and down I'll use upside down stairs I think so as it, when it looks from the inside I'll just check so looking from the inside it looks tapered here as well which is good um, I'll then right okay so now here's the choice do we 
use a full block or is that going to be too too steep I'm not sure you know I think it might be too much if I do that is that too much looks a bit like which is that doesn't it but no okay I think this bit is too severe let's try putting that around there is that going to take the severity off of that uh, it does a bit I think I might come back and fiddle around with that I'm not entirely sure but for now I think we are okay and I'll do some more detailing on it later it might need for example it might need half slab I might need some slabbing what about that no don't like it I think I might leave it like that I might do I'll have a play with it in a bit but what that now allows me to do is to start to visualize the oh, there's a house there start to visualize the the way we're gonna make it look more churchy now churches as you know are all very grand looking so I'm gonna take out these three blocks on all three sides and I'm gonna use some stained glass now these colors may not work it may look a little bit too gaudy but the idea is that I'm gonna put yellow stained glass in that bit blue stained glass or light blue stained glass on the top and dark blue stained glass underneath like that mm. now we need light in there otherwise it's not going to work so where is that's there I just yeah I did silly man right so I'm going to bring this in here to light it up and I think I might suspend it you know actually where's that block so if I bring that block there like that if I then have okay I'm thinking on the fly I well, totally wasn't going to do this but if I bring that down like that pop that in there that creates for a nice light effect at the top of that yes it does I've now got to get myself out and, <laughs> and replace those blocks because that wasn't what I was planning at all to go out that way uh, there you go so that then actually makes for quite I like it that works I need to do more on it. it I mean that's just quite bland on its own but with the light behind it I think that looks quite nice I wonder so I've not replaced that on top of there I wonder if that's the right call I wonder if where's some dark oak fence let's try dark oak fence instead on the top of that like that how about that what do we think I mean it's not exactly a cross is it but I'm just, I'm taking it that this church is a crossy church as opposed to a crescenty church but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that for now um, I've not got any other way of doing kind of sideways bits so I'm gonna go with that for now and we'll see what happens but okay I'm happy now we need to think about an entrance because obviously I just need to need to kick my way out of that and I'd really like um, a double door here I think actually what I will do stop thinking about stuff before you've done other stuff here Avamance what you want to do is you want to get yourself a floor and we're going again stripped oak floor we know we like it that's not right put that there this is going to be as if it's been laid straight the stripped oak that and then there like that and that okay so that's the entrance we're happy we're going to bring in spruce doors again so there and there we've got a lovely wide entrance there and there which means I can now put some steps over that and that and that gives us a great little entrance there 
that's good it also means that we can now pop those two out and we can use I wonder if we want stained glass or normal glass there actually I might put normal glass in that window just to see what it looks like there and there let's come out and have a look Uh, yeah, I think that works. I think that works okay. Let's swap that out for that. That's cool. Um, not putting any window on that part. I'll leave the doors open for now. And then on the other side, this bit here, I want to do a, a bigger window. And that window I want to be, again, stained glass somehow there. Oh, except that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work because of that there. That's okay. That's okay. I'm rethinking. Rethinking. It's going to be all right. We're going to do that, that, and that. And we're going to make this stained glass. Uh, put that there like that. Put the dark on the bottom. And that on the top. That looks too stripy. We need to break it up. No, like that. That's a bit better. I prefer that. That's better. That's better. That's better. What we could do, what if we did no, is that, yes, that is there and there. What if we pop that like that? that like that that's all right isn't it put that there uh, no no I'm gonna replace that I think we're gonna go back to that because I can do I'm happy with that I think that's okay I might come back to it I reserve the right and the judgment to come back to that at my leisure. Um, what we are going to do, however, is we're going to start to put a little bit more detail onto this spire because I am worried it looks just a little too blocky. I'm going to swap that out with that and that with that. So that detail's coming on quite nicely. Yep, that's really, really good. And uh, now I need to think about how we're going to stop it looking quite so uniform. Now, I know I said I didn't want to have it the same as the houses with these wooden kind of struts. And we've gone for this quite nice chiseled brick instead. But what I do want to do is use the feet. But I don't want to block the chiseled brick because I think it works quite well. So I'm just going to come in one so as it widens the foot space like that and it also means that we maintain the visual on that um, brick there which is quite nice what I'm also going to do because I'm a little concerned that the back of that is fairly how's that that looks all right that's okay I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of that I'm a fan of that definitely we want to have a an entrance way that you know is welcoming and yet light so I'm going to do the classic torch holder which I think that works rather well there so we've got feet we've got torches on the outside of that we've not got torches on the outside of this so let's do exactly the same there and there so if you've not seen how I do this you put the item frame down you either put the torch on the block behind the item frame, it doesn't matter which order you do it in, as long as you don't put the torch on the frame or the frame on the block, and then you put the trap door in the frame, and that gives you that really quite nice torch holder effect, which I think works really, really quite well. Yep, I am happy, that's good. So I also, I think, want to put a little bit more detail on the spire, because it's there's just too much stone here. So what I want to do, I think I'm going to use this spruce fence. How far up do I want to go? Do I want to do it the whole height? It might work, actually. 
let's try the whole height we go there this is slightly lower but I think st still yep so it's actually no it is an extra one which is cool so how does that look oh, I keep bumping into other houses how does that look I think that looks okay we're starting to get some really quite good detail on there now I do want to do however um, some green some poppy green so where are we going to put this green I wonder let's get ourselves a holder there what green should we use use this green there and we'll put that on there that makes for a nice little bit of green we'll put that there definitely put a little bit there I'm gonna change it up a little bit I think by and I said I'm not going to cover up this um, stone brick but I think we can just on one side to give it give it a little bit of depth and then perhaps on this one as well we'll put that there and then we'll put some flowers in let's use some blue orchids again they worked quite nicely last time we put a blue orchid there couple there that's all right and one there and one there I think okay so we may well be very nearly there with this um, how does that look around there I am just going to use this button across the top there and also across the top there because I think that works as well brilliant we have got some nice work going on there do I want to put any pottage on there let's see how it looks let's get a flower pot and what flower should we use what's a nice pure flower we'll have a white tulip no we won't we'll have a white oxide daisy and we're going to put that and there and come around and do the same just in the middle on that one how about that I think it's okay it makes for a nice homely looking church the outside is pretty much done so coming inside the church what we've got at the minute is a very tiny little space it's virtually no space whatsoever is it my goodness right but that's okay we're not unhappy with the fact that it's virtually no space whatsoever what we're going to do is we're going to put some light in there where's I've got some glowstone I think what I'm going to do I'm going to put some light up there that'll light up that area there um, I can see if I put that over the top of that does that work yeah that works all right I think doesn't it let's close that up there we go that's perfect and now what we're going to do is we are going to put in the area that the preacher is going to stand now I think it's probably big enough to do that we'll put that there we'll put um, let's put a spruce fence on it there no it's not going to work there is it let's try it in the middle let's put a spruce fence there and a dark oak slab hmm We'll try it. I think that's going to be too high, isn't it? No, nope, that's not going to work. How are we going to do this? Put that like that, and a dark oak slag on top of that like that. There we go. Obviously, in 114, we would be able to put a lectern on this, and that would work absolutely beautifully. But I think for now, that is a decent area. We can definitely use that. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy. And then we get. Oh, I've got some there. We're going to get some spruce stairs and we're going to make those the pews. It's not very big, but it is big enough. And then we also need to put in need to put in some light, don't we? So let's put there and there. Let's do the old light trick. Oh, hang on, I didn't actually put it in. There we go. Uh, there and there there and there there we go so that's those and I wonder if we should be put in here like that and like that 
with that on top. Now that will stop you getting in there, won't it? Unless you do a little jump. That's all right. It is a very um, the the preacher here is very nimble, so you can just jump behind there. So that's all good. And I think we probably don't want to do particularly much more on that, do we? There's absolutely no need. I'm not going to give access up the steeple. I don't think it's necessary. I think it just acts as a nice kind of up looky thing for the people that are sat in the pews. It's only a little church after all. So, no, I think we are good. What could we put? Mm, I might put. I might put. No, I won't. I was going to try and acknowledge it and put a little bit of um, green. I might put a little bit of green there. No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to do it. It's going to stay like that. Uh, however, I wonder, what if we do it here? What if we put a shelf there and a shelf there and just put some green on it? Just to... Oh, I put the shelf in the wrong place. Just to bring it out a little bit in there. Just to try and make it so as it's slightly... Yeah, that's nicer, actually. I quite, I like it. It just adds a little bit more up there. I'm, I'm happy with that. And then what we are going to do, we're going to get a chest. And we're going to put a chest in there. And that's where the collections are. When they do collections, uh, they shove their money in there. Actually, that turned out all right. So now we've got one little church for this little community that works really quite well. I think I'm very happy. I wonder how Kyle has done. So I've just jumped into Kyle's world. And the way we do this is that we send each other the world files saved. So we're facing away from the build that we've just done. So when we log in, we don't see the build. And what I like to do is I like to reveal the build to myself at the same time as I reveal it to you. So you get my initial reaction. I think that works quite well. So I'm just going to flick round F5. And I should, if this has been done right, I should be facing the church in the modern style. And I've got to be honest, I have absolutely no clue how he's done this modern church just bizarre so right let's do this oh wow like that's that's not remotely what i was expecting but i like it look at that let's just move around so again we've got the same feel plenty of white in there and he's used the stone um wall to bring in some depth and some texture into that and you know how much i love my depth and texture we've got some polished um different stone types which I mean, you know how much of a fan of polished stone I am, but that works quite well. That polished andesite works well in conjunction with the white there, and it offsets against the stone slabs too. Um, it's got good contrast with the white and the black glass blocks. We've gone for blocks today, and we've also got some panes in there as well. Great mixture of not that many different types of blocks to give that feel. And then we've got this kind of vein, this fin across the top that acts as, I guess you could say it's any kind of theist symbol, not a cross, not a crescent. It's kind of unitheist or multi-theist, not unitheist. That's entirely the opposite. It's multi-theist means it could represent any religion. I like that. Very clever. Should we have a little pop in? Right. So inside we're going in, we've got a pressure plate. So I don't miss the button, which is always something. Right, okay, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that enchantment table? Genius, 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 genius. There's me thinking, oh, in 114 we could do a lectern, which absolutely we could. But enchantment table, it's even got a book on it. Blooming heck, how did I miss that one? What a good idea. So simple, and yet at the same time, works so well. My guess is under here, yep, we've got the light. Got a little fern in there. It's obviously a very um, holy fern, that one. It's like a little Christmas tree, a little bit, isn't it? And we've got the obligatory iron trap doors giving the light in the top too. I like what you've done here. It's like a very small congregation, but it does it well. Does it well. How do I get out? Oh, there's a button there. You can barely see the button. That completely merges into the under side, isn't it? Right, out we go. So let's 
Yes, indeed. I, I literally had no clue how this was going to work. And that is a really, really interesting way of doing that. Congrats, Carl. You've really opened up the mind to, to the way a, a church can be represented in a modern way. Let's have a look and see how it looks when we go over to the village. Because we are nearly there. Look at this, people. The modern village is almost done. We've just got um, kind of the modernization of the paths and the um, village centre, the well. But that church in there, look, we've got the entrance to the church coming in facing the water. So it's got a beautiful view there. Really nice. And I reckon this modern place, they're loving it, these villagers. They're absolutely loving it. Look at them. They're all over that big house. So I thought I'd do the clothes from the top of the big house in the modern village. Look, it's it's looking fab. It's looking really, really fab. I'm so impressed. Next week is the last one. Yep, seriously, we are detailing village centres, farms and all that kind of malarkey next week. And then we're going to have two superb villages. Oh, well, this is superb. Mine's pretty good as well, actually. I'm quite pleased that you can yourself come and walk through. We're going to provide the world downloads for both of the finished villages to you in the descriptions next week. So do not miss it. Look, that villager in the background is spinning round and round like he's on a top. Hilarious. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and we will keep on making them or at least we'll make one of them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do make sure you sub to me and to Kyle. It'd be great to see you in our sub clubs and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. You take it easy now. Bye.